Good evening. It is so great to be here tonight. Charlotte's doing a great job, and I especially want to give thanks to my friends from Virginia. You know, a few years ago, very few imagined that Virginia would be a battleground state. Virginia had last voted for a Democrat for president in 1964, but in 2008, we proudly cast our electoral votes for President Obama. In 2006 and in 2008, we elected two outstanding senators, Jim Webb and Mark Warner, and if I have anything to do with it, we'll win again in 2012. How did Virginia go from red to purple? We did it with grassroots excitement and hard work, and we showed Virginians that Democrats get results. When, when I was governor during the worst recession since the Great Depression, Virginia maintained one of the lowest unemployment rates in America. We kept our AAA bond rating. We were named the most business-friendly state, best-managed state, best state to raise a child. In Virginia, we cut billions from the state government while making critical investments in schools, roads, and bridges. We worked together with Democrats, Republicans, and independents to get results. Now, over the last four years, the GOP pushed ideology and wedge issues. Just last week, they passed a platform demanding privacy for super PACs and denying privacy to women making health care decisions. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Democrats fought for the middle class. We cut taxes for 95 percent of American families. We, we went from 25 months of job loss to 28 straight months of private sector job growth. The auto industry is back, and manufacturers are hiring again. But we know we've got more to do, and this fall, there is a real choice. The other side fights to protect subsidies for big oil, but we want to invest in America's small businesses. They want bigger tax cuts for those who need it the least. We want to invest in our communities, roads, bridges, infrastructure that will make us more competitive. They want to slash education and training. We want to invest in our future. Now, there's just as stark a choice when it comes to fixing America's budget. Remember the last time they were in charge, the other side turned a record surplus into a massive deficit with two wars, trillions in tax breaks, loopholes, and entitlements, none of which they would pay for. And today, will you see what they're pushing? They're pushing budget-busting tax cuts and economy-busting spending cuts. To pay for the plan, they'd raise taxes on the middle class, they'd turn Medicare into a voucher system, and rather than raise taxes on the wealthy by even one penny, they'd put thousands of defense jobs at risk. So let's be clear, that's not fiscally responsible, that's fiscally reckless, and we can't afford to try it again. We've got to move forward, because while we've made progress, we still have a long way to go, and we'll only get there if we elect leaders who put results over ideology. I support President Obama because he's that kind of a leader. He said he'd end the war in Iraq, and he has. He said he'd draw down troops in Afghanistan, and today 
Every single Virginia National Guard unit is home for the first time in a decade, and we're so happy. He said he'd go after al-Qaeda, and he'd take out bin Laden, and with our great SEAL team, that's exactly what he did. He said, he said he'd try something that Teddy Roosevelt first talked about, reforming health care system, and he did. He promised, he promised to fight for equal pay for women, college affordability for students, fair treatment for LGBT Americans, and he's kept his word. Our President, President Obama, is a tough leader who gets results for the American public. Now, now next week, next week we commemorate the 11th anniversary of 9-11. Many Virginians, too many Virginians, lost their lives at the Pentagon on 9-11 and in the wars that we've fought since. When I was governor, I went to the funerals of our Virginia Guard members. I know people who lost their kids, and I know service members who returned with their lives changed forever. Their sacrifice reminds us we're not Democrats or Republicans first, we're Americans first. So, We've been through tough times. We've been through tough times as a nation, but we are tough people. And remember, folks, tough times don't last, but tough people do last. So let's, let's come together. Let's come together and show how tough Americans are and prove that our best days will always always be ahead of us. Thanks, and have a great night. Appreciate it.